Okay, so a quick video explaining how to find the density of an object that's not to that's totally submerged in a fluid. Let's imagine we've got a fluid here, and we've got an object here, and it floats such that 10% is above the surface of, uh, let's say this is water. Okay? First thing we do is we draw a diagram to try and explain what's going on here. And our diagram in this case, I'm just going to draw two. I'm going to draw one here, which is the object, and another one, which is the other thing we care about in this situation, which is the fluid. And you'll notice the fluid deliberately is a little bit smaller. It's actually 90% the volume. What do I, well, what do I know about these objects? I know this one has a volume V and a density rho. Other than that, I don't really know a great deal. Um, I can work out that the weight of this object, W, equals uh, rho VG. The fluid, what do I know about it? Well, I know the volume of this is 0.9 V. I know the density equals 1,000 because it's water. So I know the weight of this object is equal to uh, 1,000 times 0.9, which is 900 V G. Okay, so the first thing I do is, is draw my diagrams, and the diagrams can tell you an awful lot of information. The next thing I do is I look at the, the forces acting on it. Right. So I consider the centre of mass, which is going to be about here. I have an object, a force downwards, known as weight. I have a force upwards, known as upthrust. The object's floating, so I know that W equals U. Well, what else do I know about W and U? I know that U is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. So I know that WO is equal to WF. Well, I've worked out value for WO and WF. So if I go back to those two and substitute into, uh, into the equation to actually analyse each force, I know WO is equal to the density of the object times the volume of the object times our gravity. Uh, and I know the weight of fluid, so that should be a little f there, do, do no fluid. The weight of the fluid is equal to 900 V. G. Okay, now becomes a nice, easy mathematical puzzle. Um, divide both sides by G, the G's cancel out, divide both sides by V, V's cancel out, and the density of our object is 900 kilograms per metre cubed. Okay, very easy, not too difficult. The four steps are very important. First step, obviously, draw the diagram, work out what you know about it, draw the free body force diagram, analyse the forces, which is this bit here, and finally, uh, in this case, we don't have to compare forces, but we do compare densities. Quick sanity check. We know the density of this is 1,000. This density is 900, which means it floats. It does indeed float on the surface of the water. Okay, hope that helps.